Alrighty. Oh, my game is... What? Not the right ratio. Music's really pretty. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about that. I only care if AJ Lee comes back. That's all I'll say. Um, I need to, oh! I need to get a hoodie. I'm like cold. This motorcycle jacket is not doing what I need it to do. First get into position like this, then move like that. Yep, that's it. See, like, if that, if it means that we get AJ Lee in the next Rumble, I'm with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Number 30 spot, and she dethrones Rhea Ripley. <laughs> I don't know. Rumble's a ways away. <laughs> All right, let's do this story quest. I'm excited. Breath, as if you're about to blow up a huge I did this gorgeous story quest. Look at this tree. Into it, and then, poof, it's now flying away. Very pretty. <laughs> like, look how pretty. Gorgeous. Me, I'm a Genshinator. Me, I am, I am. <laughs> eh. I'm trying to get comfortable. My back really hurts. My back hurts from carrying this gorgeousness. my chair. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's the background. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this. I was told this is a really good short quest that we're gonna do. Sapatita. All right. to interrupt everyone we finally have some real dream experts joining us esteemed experts this way please <clears throat> now if anyone has any questions please feel free to ask them they must be dream experts from another land great oh i have a question me first me first no rush everyone please line up and ask in an orderly fashion My question is My simple. body just surged because I forgot Hyman's voice. Oh. So I would like to become a slime in my dreams. How can I do that? Oh, Hyman knows! Hyman's had 
this kind of dream before, so <laughs> she knows a thing or two. The first time, Paimon became an animal slime. Paimon was shot by an adventurer's arrow and flew in the sky all night long. The second time, Paimon became a dendro slime. A group of kids thought Paimon Girl, was shut a up! Paimon became a cryo slime. In the end, Paimon was captured by a chef and turned into a smoothie. And the fourth time, Paimon became a powerful geo slime and went to take revenge on the forest boar that used to bully Paimon. But then the boar showed up with all of its. Bitch, shut up! <laughs> Wait, why did all of your dreams end so tragically? Because slimes are monsters, even though they look cute, they usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by adventurers. Things don't tend to end well for monsters. Believe Paimon. I suppose you're right. They are monsters, after all. No, I she's getting bugs. a different life, but it seems that becoming a monster would be even worse than my current life. Hmm. Maybe I'd be happier if I became just a regular finch. Or fish. Looks like being an expert is way easier than Paimon imagined. Next! Oh, it's my turn. <sighs> Esteemed expert, I want to know what posture I should sleep in so I can have the same dream as the one I had last night. Uh, That's not how that works. Hey, you're supposed to be helping. Um... Why don't you tell Paimon about the dream you want to have again? <laughs> oh, it's quite ordinary. I sat and chatted with my wife on a sunny day, listening to the breeze blowing through the valley. Why don't you just find your wife and talk with her? There's no need to wait for a dream. Paimon! Well, uh, unfortunately, she passed away. How did Paimon not pick up on that? Shouldn't have assumed anything. You always no, assume shit. It's fine. You touched Kale when quickly. she had trauma with people touching her, and then I you're talking to this to guy it. and say, "Oh, Paimon gets me hot." Yeah, it's not really about posture. What you think about right before falling asleep is probably way more important. I can't wait for Paimon to oh. do. Is that all I have to do? Think about it. If you're the one thinking about her, and you're the one that'll be dreaming about her, then it'll be easier to connect your thoughts and dreams. You do have a point. I'll give it a try tonight. Thanks for your wise advice. Oh, my turn, my turn. Hum. I want to know the name of the plant in my dream. I want to bring the souvenir box to my room. Not Debbie. <laughs> I dreamt of a raven Just Debbie. Over the wasteland last night. Does that have any kind of special meaning? Hey, no rush. One at a time. <sighs> Their questions were way too difficult. We don't actually know anything more than they do. We're just more experienced dreamers. That's all. You do have a point. It's more rewarding to explore and contemplate the meaning of a question than to focus on the answer itself. Right now, these people are like wanderers who've starved for three days and three nights and are desperate to replenish their energy. Any explanation they get now is like pure sustenance to them, no matter how good the explanation really is. Oh, and now that Paimon has said that, you know who comes to mind? Bingo! If she was here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. Unfortunately, Either. she's super busy right now and may not have time for gatherings like this. Dear experts, we I love the, who would like to the chat you. just dragging Paimon. Hey, we cheer. All the questions just now. We're not really all that knowledgeable. Ah, but this guest is rather Hi, Dynamite Sky. special. Queen. My question is, why didn't you immediately tell me about such an interesting place? Huh? Nahida? How did you get here? 
Well, she walked. Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day after all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Oh, right! If there's anyone that understands dreams, it's you! You should be able to help us answer all these questions. You're not wrong. All right, they can ask me anything. The more interesting, the better. Oh, he's kind of... Hi, sir. Hi, random NPC. Huh? What's wrong? You were all so excited a minute ago. Why the sudden hesitation? Even so... It's not like I look super intimidating or anything, right? No, Even not, not at all. reputation and renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeru. Yet they didn't even flinch at you. Alas, the interesting questions have all vanished in an instant. It appears I'm the one spoiling the fun here. Stop! I'll see myself out. No! That's not true, Nahida. It's Paimon! Paimon's ruining the fun, not you, Nahida! Dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. Now the atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. The water is more secure and settled, but it has lost its free-flowing nature from the river. <sighs> I just want it to be another drop in the water, not the cold and restrictive container. She's soaking. Um, hey, it's all right, everyone. No need to be shy. They're it's so mean to Nahida. So please just go ahead and ask. Otherwise, she'll leave. Uh, all right, I'll give it a try. They don't mean to be, but they're, oh, they they always make Nahida that. feel so bad about herself. It makes me upset. Hey, drop the nicknames, would you? Besides, I don't want to become a slime anymore. Maybe a finch or fish is more suitable for me. I see. So you want to become a small animal in your dreams, right? Why do you think that sounds good to you? I guess I just want lady. to experience something different. My everyday life is nothing but the same. The sky is right above me and the ocean just over the horizon, yet I remain caged in a life of monotony. So you want to experience something new in your dreams? Mm, sorry, I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? Because if I don't work, I won't have any mora. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. By the time this all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, and I have no more freedom. But if that's the case, then even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. The reason is you've already been caged. It doesn't matter what your physical body turns into. Your mind will still be stuck in the same predicament. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Then what should I do? Yeah, Sumer's story is pretty dark. I don't know everything that you're going through, but how about replacing your hammer? Huh? Replacing my hammer? That's right. Having worked for such a long time, you of all people must know what makes a good hammer. Well, of course. A good hammer needs to be heavy enough to drive the nail in with just a couple taps. And the handle has to have a good grip to it, not too smooth. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my current hammer in quite some time. You should replace it. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Maybe some ornaments? Fur or hard leather wrapping. Then write the names of your children on it. Huh. That makes sense. I think it'd give me a good boost of energy at work. A new sense of adventure often begins with the little things in life. You don't need to be the zoom in of her face. It sea. was so zoomed in. You only need to do your best in life. Okay, and all I things you cherish will become your source of happiness. Yes. Yes, I get it now. 
This is a real eye-opener for me. I'll go and pick out a new hammer right away. No, I should make one of my own. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. That's our Nahida. Only you would know how to get right to the heart of the problem. Actually, I didn't really understand the problem. Huh? I gave him that advice because I once saw a worker doing the same thing. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. After a moment, he'd start to smile. It really surprised me at the time. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. Maddie, we uh, closed the coffin on um, mm -hmm. Princess Peach. We got I to the final world, and it's I way too hard. Kind of Hello, Curtis. But why is that? Is it because of excitement, anticipation, or helplessness? I really don't know. And even if I could know what's going through his mind, it's still difficult to fully grasp his feelings. Oh, Paimon gets what you mean. Huh. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand. <laughs> That's why I was a bit nervous just now. But luckily, Girl, you try so playing that game. That game's hard. I'm over it. We played else. most of it. Don't We're done. Me, though. This is just my way of learning. Hey, don't forget about Paimon. Everyone knows that Paimon's also super skilled at reading people's feelings. Thanks, you two. That makes me feel a lot better. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? I already asked the experts my question earlier, but I wanted to hear the Dendro Archon's response, too. What should I do if I want to see my deceased wife in my dreams every night? Hmm, longing for the deceased. Even if you keep reliving those beautiful memories, it will only highlight the emptiness in your real life. If your wife were still alive, she certainly wouldn't want to see you like this, would she? No. I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just reliving our past together. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm on, yeah. I miss her too much. But it's really as if she had come back to life in my dreams. She even remembers each and every dream. After I wake up and then continue dreaming again later, <coughs> we can pick up our conversation right where we last left off. That's really amazing. Statistically speaking, continuous dreams are extremely Hi, safety. Rare. Did I say hi, safety? Hi. It's almost as if my wife has obtained a second life in my dreams. But the more vivid she appears, the emptier I feel, and the more painful it is when I wake up. I don't know whether to call it a blessing or a curse. Maybe all of this is rooted in your deep longing for her. Were there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? Eye surgery? I don't know. I suppose my biggest regret is rest that well, I couldn't I love you, spend bestie. the rest of my life with her. I really felt like I was ready to move on. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it weren't for these hyper-realistic dreams I've been having. Huh. You know, they say that whatever's on your mind is what goes into your dreams. But dreams are and will forever be just dreams. We are people living in the real world. It's not good to be overly obsessed with dreams. 
All it will do is fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. Yes, I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in myself. I still need to take care of our child. And it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. <sighs> anyway, thanks for your advice, Great Dendro Archon. I'm a little worried about him. I hope you can find a way to cheer up soon. I think I can handle things from here. You don't need to stay here if you find it boring. You're here to have a good time after all. Okay. Uh, the quest log? Check on Iman, who is depressed. Me. Check on Nemesis, who is depressed. Some of y'all need to do that more often. <laughs> what? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Hi, sir. Are you feeling any better now? Girl, he's depressed. Yes. I think the Dendro Archon made a really good point. I need to stop dwelling on my wife like this and move on with my life. No, no, no. You can well, grieve. Think about it, you can grieve. My wife and I always meet at a familiar place in my This is what happens with dreams of my dad. Not to get, like, dark or anything, but, like, there are sometimes I'll have dreams and, like, I feel his presence. Like, he's literally there. Like, it's insane. I don't dare to go there on my own. But at the same time, I feel as if I should go and have a look anyway. Perhaps... I'll be able to move on once I... Otherwise, once I can stop dreaming about that... Actually, you two are advent... Yeah, the money Guys, you can't yeah. why... All right, go why are we like, forget about your wife, like, move on? Like, excuse me! Let the man grieve and remember his wife. Are you headed off to some interesting place without telling me again? Huh? Wait, aren't you supposed to be answering questions? I just finished. And they really got a lot out of it. So many interesting and novel thoughts. Anyway, it looks like you're going somewhere. Why don't you take me with you? Oh, there's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. I imagine you must have many other important things to deal with. No need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along if I didn't have a good reason. I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. Huh. I didn't know the great Dendro Archon could become puzzled, too. <laughs> I'm not all that different from you, you know. All right, let's go. We can talk Thank you, Maddie Cheap Cheap. <laughs> yeah, Paimon makes this game unbearable. Like, I liked playing the, um, Aranha quest because Paimon didn't speak. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is great. I wish they just would have given the Traveler a voice actor. It's weird. It's, like, strange that it doesn't. Because, like, I feel like the vo the Traveler would have just as many voice lines as Paimon does. And it's not like they don't have a voice actor. They do. For, like, the cutscenes that they do speak. Like, why aren't they voice acted? Very strange. <laughs> I think my mom bought me Chinese food or sushi, but I'm not so sure. Do adventurers often go to places like this? <laughs> Ari Kanti. They were everything. So this is where you always meet your wife in your dreams? Yes, for the most part. 
I can't. Is on the summit, just up ahead. When I saw her in my dreams, we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary, mundane topics. And Buzz, thank you for gifting I a sub. I appreciate you. She always listened. What is that? There's like emojis she on the gifting the sub thing now. That's me, cool. Telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes. It feels like no matter how long we may chat, it's never enough. Sometimes it's the little things in life that matter the most. This is the part I'm a little puzzled about. I'm very familiar with dreams, and normally they what like was logic that? and continuity. But you said she could remember what you had told her before, right? That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and now she's doing the same in my dreams. She always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. The fact that she can remember such things makes me feel like she's alive. Whoa, that's pretty weird. Well, dreams are kind of weird to begin with. However, Not really. the problem is that his dreams have too much structure and continuity. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. The teleport example, thing in this cutscene <laughs> outside your above the heat. real world could cause your dream self to get loaded into and fired out of a big cannon. Another example. If you're thirsty in the real world, then you might find yourself trudging through a desert in your dream. Hi, Jada. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by any outside interference. Statistically, this should be extremely rare. I don't understand it either. But I have no reason to suspect or reject these dreams. But I still want to figure out the how and the why. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. That's why I want to have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. Let's go. Just think of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. Ooh, that's not... <laughs> Do you guys like to go on hikes? I actually do in the summertime. Take it easy. Mm -mm. I could share a story, but I'm not going to, but it's okay. I think I've gone on a hike since. Well, he really wasn't kidding. I haven't taken this a hike um, since well, I lived in Rhode Island, huh? which is weird because there's like a lot of hiking like spots here or close to Rhode Island. Of course, this is all part of our little trip. Oh, we have to fight them. Okay, hold on. If you would excuse me. Excuse me, why is Nikita a trial character? She's on my team, girl. Thank you, Shogun. Strange about this place. I'm on shut up challenge. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed have the power to organize dreams. His wife must be a really amazing person. Huh? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, so you are waiting for me here? Well, guess what is what? happening? I've brought someone amazing with me today. What? When the Dendro Archon said she wanted to come with me, what? I could hardly believe it. I'll bring Hydar 
Once I'm more familiar with the way here, she's been telling me that she really misses you. Girl, wake up! Huh? What's wrong with him? There's nobody there! Wait, Minar. Don't go that way. It's dangerous. Uh-oh, he's gonna fall! Catch him! What the?! Luckily, he didn't fall. But what was all that rambling about? He also looks like he's passed out. He's in the dream now. What he said just now matches almost perfectly with the dreams he subscribed to us earlier. I don't think they're dreams, oh. girl. So he fell asleep? I think he's doing drugs. The same dream? I find it a little strange as well. But we mustn't awaken someone while they're sleepwalking. All we can do is sit here and wait. Uh, huh? Minar. Where's Minar? Oh, good! You're finally awake! Uh, what happened? Huh? Sleepwalking? Oh, right. It was okay, why don't you get my dream. nails done? The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar. Sitting there and get my extensions. And over to her. My hair's After pretty, but like I literally blow dried it the other day and it looks like garbage. It literally felt like straw too. I, I was like, to um, excuse me, my and hair is healthy. Why is it suddenly not healthy? A strong wind I tried to make it pretty like when I got it blow dried at the salon and it did not work out like that and it made me very right. upset. I woke up. That sounds pretty wild. Maybe you were just too tired. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday, and I don't feel very sleepy now. Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dreams by following him here. Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. If it weren't for you, I kind of just want to get black fallen. nails, and I just want to get like short nails. Don't come back to just this black place short again nails. for the time being. I go with everything, but I okay. want something that's like not gonna break off. Cause like every time I put on like fake nails, they come off really fast. So I'm like, let me just get them done like acrylic or gel. Evidence to work off of, so it's hard to draw any reliable conclusions yet. But I'm concerned that Ilmon's case may not be unique to him. Oh right! Come to think of it, there were lots of people from the event who had vivid memories of their dreams. Right. And not only at a moment of dreams, there may be people like this all across Sumeru. We need to understand what's happening and the rate of its development as soon as possible. There okay, note to self, do. don't go to Sumeru and go to sleep, it's because anytime we're here, myself. something terrible happens. Get our dreams abducted and now people are sleepwalking and seeing dead people. Like, what is happening? on our hands please notify everyone here that while they can continue to discuss their dreams they mustn't try to visit or recreate the locations and scenes that they have been experiencing in them what uh, uh, all right if that's the wish of the great dendro archon why is he kind of cute too but could you at least tell me what happened <gasps> so your friend kevin is raiding on the party of 26 hi babe thank you so much for the raid how are you doing we're hopping around to a bunch of different games today. Don't We're doing worry. some Genshin. How are you doing? Participants and inform the other staff members Thank you for the rain. Anybody coming in? I'm Nemesis. I do drag. I'm trans. Um, be able to I'm silly. I'm goofy. And happy to have you here. And warn them about the situation. Thank you. That would be very helpful. It's good to see you too. Uh, participants are still here. What's been has already left. the game that we're playing? To make a hammer, Are you gonna play so Tears of a Kingdom when it comes out? Are you that type of gal? Wait a second. Where's Katya? Has Katya? Katya? 
Has she already left? Someone make a joke. Oh, there's a, there's I, a joke. I think she already left. She said there was somewhere she wanted to go. Oh no. Did she want to look for the place from her dreams too? Can you tell us where she went? Me too. Ganon looks really yes, hot. I'm she excited. She did briefly mention it. Somewhere near Chatracom Cave. All right, thank you. But everybody from me, make we'll sure you're following your friend Kevin. Thank you so much for rating us. Not to do I like think this it. is the second raid we've gotten from you in like a sure, short period of time. And by short, I mean I think you rated us like a couple months ago, which was very sweet. So thank you for the raids. Oh, that was already the first part? Okay. Not dream of falling. Um. Um. Girl? We stream at the same time. No, I've been off my stream schedule lately, though, too. I'm like, I've been waking up at, like, 9 a.m. and, like, streaming at, I want to say, 2 o'clock and then, like, ending around 8. It's been weird, but I took a nap today to hopefully get on my old sleep schedule. Because I'm like, I miss my stream, I miss my vibes. Look, she's sitting over there. It's surrounded by monsters. Come Hello. on, let's rescue her. Period. Enjoy your food. Thank you. I hope it's good. I I think I'm getting sushi, which is exciting. So I hope your food is good as my sushi. Party. Period. She seems to be in the same condition as Ilman earlier. Yes, but luckily she hasn't been injured or jolted awake yet. Let's carefully move her somewhere safer. Um, my mom asked me if I'll she see wanted. You tomorrow, Professor Aisha. What? <sighs> if I wanted something, and I was like, sure. Why? So. Why am I back here again? Dreaming. But what about Professor Aisha? Oh, I see. It was all just a dream. Well, that makes sense. After all, it hasn't changed a single bit. Huh? What's it? Nearly 20 years, and it still hasn't bloomed. <sighs> Does it have something to do with your dream? Please, tell us what you mean. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still feeling a little groggy. Please give me a moment here. <sighs> <sighs> All right, where to start? Right, this plant. So, Professor Aisha gave me this plant just before she left. She was a good friend of my parents and my first real tutor. She was also an outstanding Amorta researcher. In addition to her extraordinary academic talents, she was also skilled in combat and would accept lots of work from the Adventurers Guild. Oh. So you mean she's left on an adventure? Yes. When I was about ten years old, she told me that she must go look for the secrets of the Abyss, and that she would be gone for a long time. I grabbed hold of her and wouldn't let go. I didn't know what the Abyss was. I just knew that she was like family to me. She hugged me, and we cried for some time until I fell asleep. When I woke up, I was already back home. She still decided to leave, but had left behind a letter for me saying that I was the person she cared for most in this world. She claimed that investigating the Abyss could help more ordinary people protect the people and things they care about. She had obtained some important evidence during her past adventures. If she didn't set off right away, she might miss the perfect opportunity. Guess Ad Astra Avasask isn't just a slogan. She left a seed in the letter, telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed, then she'd come back no matter what sort of risky situation she was in. She said she looked forward to seeing me all grown up. But strangely, I've tried watering it, feeding it, everything I could think of. But 
I've never been able to get it to bloom. I even went to ask the Immorta researchers, and they couldn't explain it either. May I have a look at the plant? Of course. I was hoping the great Dendro Archon could help me solve this problem. Let me see. Hmm. Uh, oh. <sighs> huh? We've never seen that look on Nahida's face before. She looks a little unwell. Um, hold on, we'll be right back. What's wrong, Nahida? You can't tell what's wrong with the plant either? No, I immediately understood what's happening with that plant. I'm just not sure if I should say it. This plant is not known to the academic world. It's a new species that her teacher managed to cultivate by some special means. Judging by its features, I can tell from the moment it sprouted, it'll never be able to bloom. It, it can't be! It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the danger and was prepared to never return. From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly regard this as a brutal revelation. When forced to confront such brutal truths, people may break down into tears, talk nonsense, or lose their tempers. I know she has to face the truth, but at the same time, I don't want to hurt her. Tell me, what should I do? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um... Seems like you've already got a good idea of the feelings she might experience. But wouldn't that mean I'm just pushing it all on you? What if she just gets angry at you instead? It's all right. There are all kinds of people, and the examples you observed are just the most extreme cases. So, they just announced a new title belt on Raw. Um, <laughs> Girl! It's not good, it's for the men. It's so ugly, the belt. Ah! Yeah, I'm posting a picture now on Twitter.
I can't wait for the sweaties to get into my replies. Oh my god, you complain about the women that you can never have men win anything. <laughs> Yeah, I just like to start drama. It's okay. I just, like, don't think... I just, like, I just don't... I <laughs> just don't... Oh, the men are happy on the TL. Oh, they're happy. Oh, they're happy. Oh, they're living. They're loving it. Okay, um... Okay. It looks like... It looks like there's, like, poop on the belt. Like, what? why is it, like, this weird gold that, like, has, like, red undertones and, like, it's, like, wrinkly? It's like if gold member took a shit and he, like, wiped it onto a title belt. Tell me I'm wrong. What does gold member say with the penis that he detaches? He says something. I need to get the quote. Not my YouTube recommended. I'm literally looking up gold member cock scene. <laughs> the iron dick. I love this movie. I want to rewatch Austin Powers. What the? Someone on my... Okay. I'm not even going to mention what I just saw on my recommended TL. As a treat, you can look at the newest thing I just tweeted. It's Cody Rhodes taking off his shirt. Ooh. 
Oof. Oof. What the? I like that we're all just like, yeah, this is happening.
Thank you for gifting a sub, Crimson. The new belt you can already order? You, Eli. So who's going to win it? I'm like just browsing the TL. That's enough of Twitter. I'm done with looking at my phone. Okay. Let me see if my food's here, because apparently I have food. Okay, I don't know then. Ugh. Never bloom? But how is that possible? If a plant is unable to bloom, doesn't that mean it can't reproduce either? All that's left for it to do is slowly wither away. Are you saying she never intended to return? Seriously? So everything she said was a lie? But she meant well. Since the separation was inevitable, I'm she hoped that you would be able to come to grips with such a cruel party you, a little later in life. Yeah, her love, care, and attention to you, all those warm okay. moments were real. I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice after learning the truth. I see. Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's just... Just so much to take in. The dreams are so beautiful. Yet reality is heartlessly cold. I really thought she had come back. I had so much to tell her. 
So, like, for the title, like, if Roman loses them... I'm so lost on it. As pure and beautiful as they seem. Some kind of power may be exploiting your feelings. <sighs> really? Yes. So with that in mind, until our investigation is completed, please return to the event and ignore any further temptations from your dreams. I see. Thank you for rescuing me. And sorry for the trouble. Luckily, the plant didn't get hurt either. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. That's like... I feel like the whole thing with Roman's thing is that, like, everybody was anticipating him losing it eventually and then splitting them up. Or, like, I don't know. I feel like it kind of devalues Roman's double titles because, like, it was so... Like, he is the one and now there's another one just to be like, whatever. I don't know. Am I the only one that thinks like that? It's because people have something called empathy. Empathy? Hmm, I see. That's what I'm saying. This is valuable knowledge indeed. By the way, you said there may be something that's trying to exploit their feelings. Any idea what that might be? Yes. What's common between Ilman and Katia's cases is that they've both lost someone dear to them. And now... They get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again. It's a little weird. And the people feel more real than anything a regular dream. They just create a new be. title to protect. And instead of interpreting it as a result of their longing. Really weird, actually. I have to consider a more antagonistic explanation. Also very random. Someone is like, why now? Of their why all of a sudden? Yeah, they're just causing these people to dream. What are they after? This is exactly what we need to investigate. Anyway, let's pay another visit to a moment of dreams. I have a bad feeling about all this. I hope things haven't gotten any worse. Did she lose her match again? Wait, so EO lost against Bianca already. Technically. Who took the pin? Don't tell me Bailey took the pin. <laughs> to who? Who ate the pin? Like, who pinned her? Bianca? Oh, wow. Publishing House has released numerous works that lay out military strategy in a simple and pragmatic way. Those are my favorite. Oh, they hate Bailey, huh? I can't believe she ate the pen. I'm glad Dakota didn't. But also, like, no offense to Dakota, like, she f is, like, the only one that in the... F 
like trio could really eat it right now with how things are going with the story i feel like it makes bianca look so i mean bailey looks so weak but maybe that's kind of what they're going for because like bailey's like super weak and eo's the stronger one in the stable but some of a moment of dream just as i expected it seems my guess was correct it's the Dendro Archon. She's back. Uh, what happened? What, why have we been gathered here? Ooh, Many that's not... Many here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams. But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind them. Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. Huh? But I don't think it's a big deal. Aren't we just dreaming? It's not like dreams will have an effect on others. We've already met two people who ran up to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. That's right. These aren't just dreams. It's serious. All right. I get it. I get it. So does that mean once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we can continue to enjoy these dreams? Yeah, I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro Archon, but... We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, we were able to reunite with people who were very close to us. They all seemed as if they were alive again, which makes us reluctant to wake up yes that's also what we've observed in our investigation so if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams that'd be quite cruel to us all of us understand the danger but you think so you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us i don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good before the conclusion of the investigation They'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. We've never had such a difficult situation before. It appears that not many people are willing to cooperate. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. Am I gonna get food? I'm hungry, bitch. Spiral out of control. The more time we wait, I thought I was getting dinner, but I guess not, dude. Return to their alluring dreams. So, what should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. Pedrush, is there anyone here who's experienced? Ah, uh, let me think. Uh, yes, this way. Good. Please take us there. Makes me sad I can't eat McDonald's anymore. Our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. I loved McDonald's, but you know. Hmm. She's only asleep and hasn't started sleepwalking. It seems she hasn't fell <laughs> too deep into her dream yet. Do Love that account. Do we also need to fall asleep if we want to go into her dream? Don't worry about I that. want something to eat. I'm Lester Lord Kusanali, after all. I don't know what to eat though. I kind of want to order food, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You slowly wash over the shore and sink into the sand. Taco Bell, no. See, I would order Burger King, but last time I ordered Burger King, guess what happened? They delivered me a Sprite and didn't refund me. So it's okay. I'll pass. What's wrong, Traveler? You look a little disoriented. Really? Paimon didn't notice anything. Anyway, seems like we've made it into the dream. I thought we would arrive at some familiar scene, but we seem to have landed in a completely unfamiliar place. Whoa. So many giant plants, even in the sky! Amazing. Theoretically, we should have gone straight into Debbie's dream. 
Debbie. Things do seem to have gone a bit sideways here. I should have named her Debbie. Anyway, let's see if we can find any leads. Oh, you think so? Thanks. Oh, puzzle time, I guess. Stop making my character. Gotcha. <laughs> it's another belt I really don't give a shit about. It's like I only watch the women. Huh? A door? Hmm. One door can lead. Well, it's not like we have any other way to go now. Let's go in and have a look. Hey, this place looks familiar. Isn't it Puspa Cafe? Oh, Paimon sees Debbie! She's right over there! Looks like we've come to the right place! These alluring dreams often portray a scene from real life, which concurs with our previous findings. Really? But what about that space we were in just now? You can't mean this is another collective dream? Not again. Yes. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams, I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Ah, Paimon gets it now. Well, let's go talk with Debbie. Oh. But there are some other people next to her. Uh, are they dreaming too? If this space is exclusive to Debbie's dream, then the others beside her are most likely... The Knowing them, they're probably going to give it to Brock or something. Anyway, we should confirm that first, just to be sure. Huh. How do we do that? Just leave it to me. I was going to say Finn or Damien too. Not Goldberg returning. I will lose my mind. <laughs> Could you imagine? Mm, the coffee here still tastes the same as ever. <laughs> so Cody isn't injured. I thought he was. Surely you've all Oh, not AJ. Girl, please stand so. up. No matter how good things may be elsewhere, nothing beats the taste of home. That's right. It's AJ Styles, the homophobe? Anyway, here's to your return home. Welcome back, everyone. Flat earther, homophobe, transphobe, uses the F slur. Ooh, it's bad. Yeah, L.A. Knight is my pick, but that's because I literally want to drain him. Everyone hold hands. Oh, how could they be? Also, isn't he like gone? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Sounds a little hesitant. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people with her. 
So, this is the power of the Dendro Archon? Uh, I'm gonna better watch your thoughts from now on. <laughs> don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. It's rather impolite. All right. I need to get myself ready. It won't be easy to break it to her, but there's no avoiding it now. The, the Great Dendro Archon! Uh, what brings you here? I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but... Have you noticed that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? I... I don't quite understand, Great Dendro Archon. What do you mean? I get it! The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that we're able to gather here. Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just returned from a fruitful adventure. Memories? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Think carefully. You of all people should know what really happened to them. Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking? <sighs> yes. Girl, calm down. The reports from the Steambird were true. The ship they were on struck a reef and sank. And I never heard from Vasima and Gaspar again. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about, Debbie? Yeah, trust your memories. Nothing you see here is real. I get it now. This is a dream, isn't it? But since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real or not. I enjoy the way things are here. I no longer have to face the tragedies of real life. These friends mean the world to me. Nobody else can understand me like they do. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream. Is there? I'm worried that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. That picture has music. will always give you what you want, while reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you are not careful, you can get hurt. Don't worry. I still have control. I won't let it go that far. Are you sure? Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks, hmm? Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. You can't just brush off something. <laughs> Are they really? We don't even know how you people What is Chelsea on? Where you even came What's Sonya on? <sighs> Sorry. Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. Ow. No, it's all right. I understand that you're just trying to look out for me. It seems that for now, this place is still relatively harmless for you. But I wonder if there's any way to Work. get deeper into the dream. Huh. Now that you mention it, I once heard a strange voice tell me that there's an entrance here. I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but maybe I'll go in and have a look later. It's okay, we embarrass people on okay. the channel all the time. Thanks for your help. Just as I expected, we're only on the surface of this dream. Let's go. Um, okay. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like literally don't care. <laughs> just an asshole. <laughs> That's why I have no friends, what? dude. Dreams work. They drop Debbie's dream, but the dream is still continuing onward. Ugh, Bad Make Bunny sure can get it. I'm down bad for that man. This dream has the ability to create imaginary people, which is why people are so unwilling to wake up. If it weren't for what we just saw, Paimon might still find that a bit hard to believe. 
Fuck you, bitch. Go suck your flat earth boyfriend. The fact that Debbie was able to realize that she was dreaming means that she is not very deep in the dream yet. But the space we're in has been turned upside down. Do you remember the characteristics Bad Bunny's of mine. that I mentioned earlier? Oh, right. Dreams are chaotic. That's right. It's possible that we're heading deeper into this dream now. And the deeper we go, the closer we'll get to the essence of the dream. Right. So the answers might be waiting for us deeper in the dream. Fine, but I get Wesley. Yes. And That's my man. Ready for whatever we may encounter. Maddie fell asleep already. Couldn't even say hi back to house music. Wow. I don't need Dom Mysterio. I got my own personal Dom Mysterio. <laughs> His name's Marsh Marshall Me M Mirio. <laughs> and I'm mommy. No, that's cringe. I'm giving mommy vibes right now. I think he's, people I think do think he's hot, but I think he's handsome. I don't think he's ugly. There have been uglier people in WWE. I think he's handsome. I'm not like down bad, but like, I think he's attractive. Why is there no music happening in this area? Uh, okay. Now. Yeah. She reads him down. Whoa. When it rains, it seems to disappear slowly. Yes, and it appears again as soon as the rain stops. But it's less like a flower and more like a dangerous slime that's trying to keep out of sight. Here we go again with that heat of analogy. I love that I made you start watch wrestling and now your mom watches wrestling and it's just like a plague, just huh? across. Paimon, will you shut the fuck up challenge? My God. Let me enjoy the immersion and just wasn't don't shut the fuck Wait, up. Weren't we already here a little earlier? This is probably Ilman's dream. Huh? Why would he start dreaming again? Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. Based on what we've learned so far, he must be sleeping more deeply for his dreams to appear here. But fortunately, he already knows us from before. Because we needed another men's title belt, Marshall. Get with it. Hurry up. Get with it. We need three world men's title belts. We don't need any more women's belt. We don't need any more women's segments. Actually, cut the... Fire all the women. Fire all the women. We don't need women in WWE, like, 
I just believe that women's wrestling is just not the tea. Like, I just don't think that... Too? I think we need actually we four men's world titles. We need to make sure that there are... O only Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler in the women's division and Lacey Evans. I think that will do great things for WWE and the sales. Thank you. Oh, it's you. Incredible. I didn't know you would appear in my dream, too. Did you say and you know what the women in the Wait, division will have? You know this is a dream? They won't of have course. a necklace. Such good things really <laughs> happen to me in real life Sorry. these days. Here. Like my status if you think everyone. that was hot. This is Minar, my wife who I mentioned before. And this is our daughter. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. I it had shibs with third strike. meet the Dendro Archon. Whoa, Dad. You know the Dendro Archon? That's amazing! And what's this? <gasps> Is it a new toy? No, it's Paimon! Yeah, break it. Toy. Throw it against the wall in the trash. Anyway, now's not the time for that. Nahida, this doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting. <sighs> You're right. Telosussy oh, moment. For... Oh, right. We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier. Paimon thought he'd gone home. Marshall, Sorry. please get with I it, Marshall. Sure Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler are the only that. women in the division that are I good. Like, we need that, and we need so more men's titles. We actually need those titles need they run in other life. leagues. The triple yes, title I'm belts for the men. We need that. And then we also need the mixed match titles, and then Ronda and Shayna can have them. <laughs> no, don't talk like that. I'm not gonna finish Let's that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream, it's still a blessing that we've been able to reunite in this way. It was, I was, it was now? meant for me to be like, okay, Rondo or Shayna can have them, but I said Rondo and can, Shayna. <laughs> you can let me break the news. Well, I should be the one to do it. I'm sorry, but. I should tell you that your dream did not create us. We are real people with our own consciousness. Like the last time Thank you for the subscription, Hail the Nightmare. Rhonda is mother. Oh, yep, I agree. I agree. So you mean we need another 500 day reign from Ronda well? Rousey. Hmm? Mm -hmm. What's going on? It seems the reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. Is that confirmed? Is, is Shayna by like Maybe. actually? But like has she said that? Or are we just being indeed how things will end? Not that she owes us anything, no. but it is confirmed. Okay, well then Stan. But also like I'm afraid I She said it back in 2013. Okay, well Don't worry, Hydar. Mom's not going Not to be the shady girl, but like if she's in the queer community, why are none of her queer friends being like, yo, Shayna, like Where's the eyebrow pencil, mama? Because I can't. 2013, That's she's been I'm out and won't use an eyebrow pencil? Never Where's not. the eyebrow pencil for that brow, like ma'am? I, I mean, I don't get any of the complicated stuff. But regardless of whether this dream is good well? or bad, you're here to resolve it, right? Yes. Hi, Max. Then please. Let us enjoy this moment. She's been open about it. I love that though. Longer. She's great. Regardless of whatever caused this dream Dakota's to trying her best to help her. Please. I feel extremely grateful to have Well, Dakota needs to, to let Shayna borrow family. one of her wigs. Because Miss Ma'am in the greasy really slick back hair with no brush in it and no eyebrow I'm pencil. So and no necklace. Sorry. Dakota, help mm. her. Help your friend. Okay. I see. Please. Come this way. You can go even deeper into the dream by heading in this direction. I have heard that the further down you go, the more pleasant the dreams become. And the more <coughs> you want to stay. The answer you're looking for may also be found there. Go ahead. Thank you for helping us. And I'm truly sorry. This you're deep welcome. story happening and I'm like... 
Sheena, like use an eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I'm just an ordinary person after all. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? I'll be right behind oh, you. our Pisces connection. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake so up. So your wife's name is Hydar and your daughter's name is Minar. We're not doing Wait. Bad. Hold on, that name? Are we that depends on how you define good Pronounced in a way bad. sounds sus. I'm not sure what to do next. How about I take you on a walk? Yeah, Raquel versus Lacey Evans for the U.S. title. I'm sure they would sell that match like no tomorrow. And they'd wave their flags really high and celebrate. It's the same place again. This place is almost like a flight of stairs that connects all the dreams together. But they appear to be getting more and more aggressive. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Girl, right. I don't know. Something seems to be off about our theory. Becky's found dead. Trish isn't dreaming. coming out. They're gonna and ruin the only good storyline we've had in months. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he almost seemed more awake. Don't even sh don't even say that because that could literally happen because Trump is a WWE Hall of Famer. Can you believe that? Trump got inducted to the Hall of Fame the same year Trish Stratus was inducted. It's the owner's attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? Sometimes Paimon almost wishes her dreams could be real. But it's just a quick Yep, class of 2016, Trish Stratus was inducted the same things. night as like Donald J. Trump. Isn't, we're real beings living in the real world, and that's where our focus should be. This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really <clears> care. <throat> But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, then our dreams will be more substantial. Why is she injured? Oh, wait. Paimon's starting to get it now. Her mind will begin no offense, how did Becky get injured? But Miss Trish at like almost 45 is kicking and looking stunning. But Becky breaks a hip. Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. Her ankle go click, and suddenly Becky cannot walk no more. Well, honestly, that's embarrassing for Becky. I'm so sorry. That's sad though, because like that storyline was actually really good, and now we're about to lose it, and we lost Mela with the Chelsea storyline, which was good. We just keep losing, dude. That's why I'm not watching wrestling anymore. Like, I'll I'll see what's on the TL and that's it. Like, I just don't... Like, I'm not gonna, like, waste my nights. Like, I'd rather hear from you guys in the chat room than literally waste my time watching the program. Like, seriously. Like, what? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, turn the TV on and sit here and drag to get frustrated? I'd rather play a video game on the side and talk about it than sitting and, like, consuming actual nothingness. That's where WWE is at right now. It's actually kind of sad. Because, like, I have such a passion for wrestling in WWE, and it makes me upset to see, like, how it is right now. But it's fine. It's whatever. It's seriously not that deep either. Like, I'm, I'm making it seem, like, very dramatic, but it's honestly not. Because, like, there's so many other things to consume in life. But it's fine. Only, I'm only really upset because the podcast is just going to suffer without it. <laughs> but we'll just run it back and talk about Total Divas. So, and we'll talk about old wrestling pay-per-views when it was good. Does that mean there's a host of these dreams here like Milu during the Subzeros Festival? If we wake that person up, this could um, be Not Oksana okay, to return. Right? We need some array to return and save us. Mm -hmm. Most That's likely. what we need. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha. 
And now the Akasha has been turned off. This has nothing to do with the Aranara, and humans are not capable of creating a collective dream. Which means... Huh? <laughs> Oop, so clock me. Did someone manage to restart the Akasha? Mm, that's impossible. But they are probably a scholar of the academia who had a close connection call with the Akasha. To me, to me. Even so, how did they manage to do it? And how did they choose the host? Wait, the Usos are getting a bunch of segments on Raw right now? Say you're joking. Say psych right now. Someone say psych before I start typing up a storm. Huh. Wait, Chelsea backstage looks great. Hello? Retweeting. Everybody go look. Hold on. Yeah, I'm seeing. I'm seeing the changes that were made. Nemesis is currently clearing someone. Please wait a moment. Um, apparently, Piper and Candace were supposed to have a match, and then they changed it to a men's match on the spot. It was apparently going to be Piper and Candace backstage segment, and then a match, and then they changed it to Street Profits versus Cedric and Shelton. <laughs> I can't. I can't, dude. Listen, I'm not a stan of Piper or Candace, but like, come on. We can't be stans if you don't give them a moment to shine. Let it shine. That was... Three different songs into one. Bailey did the falling thing again. Hello? <laughs> Is she okay? <laughs>
what an interesting day for developments on um I can't <laughs> I'm so done with everything no video games makeup is boring wrestling is boring video games are boring I can't yeah we haven't gotten to the end yet once we know their motive all the questions will resolve what's your themselves. motive What's your motive? Okay. <laughs> minute to minute. Here comes the catch. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Do you remember that one um, episode of Drag Race where Peppermint vented about being trans and then the same episode they literally made her lip sync to Macho Man? That was so rotted. What is with Drag Race? They're sick. RuPaul is going to hell. <laughs> like, actually. Listen, I'm excited to see Alexis Michelle back on my TV. Like, I'm actually unironically team Alexis Michelle. I have a picture of her at DragCon. Do you guys want to see that picture? Should I post it on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, should I actually just post it? No caption on Twitter right now. Everyone has to go retweet this picture when I post it. It's so booger boots. <laughs> Where is house music right now? No, she took a picture with me and Onyx's on 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 her her dad took a picture of me and Onyx while we were in the line for her meet and greet. I don't know why we were in the line for her meet and greet, but we were. We sure were. Oh my god. Who is that? Ew! Buzz hair? Ugh! Cringe. Okay, where is this? Hold on. Where is Drag Cotton? I'm looking through my archives. Okay, this is when I was in makeup school. This is my final. Drag con. Oh, I think it was the year before I went to New York. Yeah, it was the year before I went to New York. Oh yeah, because this was like early days of my drag. I have a picture with Kine. Oh, baby Kine. Bro, this was so booger. I left the house like this, dude. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate this picture, how it is. girl. Ah! I posted it. Where? Oh, I'm like looking for a controller and I can't find a controller. Team Alexis Michelle.
She was happy. Why are you blue? It was my old gimmick. Shut up. That was my old gimmick though. I used to paint blue every time I went out and drag. Not anymore though. That's too much work. Who is that? That's literally me down. That's me boots. Cursed images. Tamar, have you watched the show? I've always wanted to bring that back though. I remember like everybody was like, Nem, I followed you when you were in your blue era. And I'm like, oh, when people actually gave an F about me. <laughs> I was on like all the speculated drag race like things all the time back in the day when I was like pretty like that. Those were the days. Now I'm just boring and nobody wants to put me on there. Put on drag race tier list. <laughs> My favorite thing is like when people pretend to stand someone that's about to be on Drag Race and they're like, oh my god, I stand her first. Hello? I thought Nahida just round. Why don't you audition? Um, thought about it very briefly, but I would not survive the 12 hour days to have you in drag. Um, It's not a no, I wouldn't do it, but it's definitely like, it's, I don't know. Oh. It's just new to Paimon in this dream. This should be the final destination. Huh? Really? Final destination? Yeah. These are just ordinary city streets. I have powers related to dreams, so it's usually easy for me to tell who's dreaming and who's created by dreams. I guess only those who have thoroughly accepted this dream will be able to come here. There are so many people here. How can we find the host? <laughs> Don't worry. I have a way. Oh my god. Allergies! Not we have to stand so hard. Something I'm fucking throttled. <laughs> Let's work it 
I can't say that when I've met Seth. That's not right. <laughs> it's okay. Half the guys I was with during the day I met Liv Morgan, they were being weird. They were like, I got to meet Liv. Like, I'm so excited. She's so hot. And I was like, guys, relax. Like, you're a bit weird. Wow. What a Hi, friend. Be careful. Don't fall now. Oh, hey. What do we want for Seems season 16? I want my friends on TV. Huh? I want Onyx. How did you beat us here? Did Is that pet really new? Yeah, you have to do the new quest me? line for the new um, region um, of Sumeru. I'm not sure it's like a desert oasis, about. like All we did was walk cute area. Passageway, and here we are. I can show you when I get out of this cutscene. The concept of fixed spaces doesn't always apply here. If you do this part of Sumeru, it's right here. There's like a quest line of a new like thing, like the Aranha. <gasps> I love Lana. Yes, Lana needs to get on Drag Race. I love Lana. I've I've known Lana. I've known Lux and Lana, but I've known Lux longer. But like, I love Lana so much. No, it's not. It's for the main quest line. Look, Mom, the scenery is so pretty here. Be careful. Don't fall now. Oh, I thought. Oh, hey. Seems we somehow managed to get here before you. Huh? How did you beat us here? Didn't you have to go through that super crazy, confusing place? Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about. All we did was walk through that passageway. And here we are. You're in a dream. The concept of fixed spaces doesn't always apply here. I would like just any of my friends on Drag Race. Like, I knew the closest thing to Drag Race I got was Robin last season, because I grew up with Robin in the scene here. Like, she's even said that the first club she went to in drag was Ego, and that's like my home bar. But, like, if someone like Onyx or Zane or even Pulp or, um, if Lana got on, I'd love that. Uh... I'm trying to think of someone, like, in my circle but that would true. do it. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. I don't even think Zane would go on Drag Race. Zane would go on Dragula, but I would also love to see Zane on Dragula. Sometimes I wish Rakesh could be more assertive, but I guess I'm also happy enough with the way things are. It's not going to rain soon, is it? Then maybe we Alexis Michelle, home. I just How posted a rain? selfie with Alexis Michelle. Go ahead and check it out. <laughs> yeah, let's wait for the weather to get better before we head back out again. It's not like we're in a rush or anything. <laughs> nope. I do not need I do not need any of Jan's friends or Jan alum or Jan fantasy friends getting on the TL. It's okay, I'm fine. <laughs> That's a bit noisy today, isn't it? Oh, I'd love to see I um so. I don't feel anything out of the ordinary. Oh. I would love to right. see it's um peaceful here. Lux. Just Lux. Right? Yeah, Lux, Daya, and Crystal's friend. I love Lux. I don't think they would cast her after Lux Noir London was just on, but... I love Lux. Like, a lot. Like, the entire house of, like... Like... Get Dusted House... I love them so much. Like, I was even... My sister just started watching Drag Race, so I had sent her a couple of screen... I wouldn't post this if to the public, but... Sure what to do next. Um, no. Um, my, um... So, my sister just started watching Drag Race, speaking of, like, the Get Dusted house. So, I sent her this screenshot of... So, I originally had messaged Crystal Method, and then we got the... 
collab together while we were in quarantine and honestly this is while she was still on drag race like drag race was airing i don't know how this happened but she gave me the opportunity to do a stream with her if you guys haven't seen it it's on youtube and that stream changed my life forever and then that opened the door to meet the gut dusted crew lux uh d michelle and diabetti and i've loved them all since and they've been great and been so supportive and i love them so much and before Daya went on Drag Race, um, Daya had messaged me because it was uh, Father's Day. And I was posting about how Father's Day is really hard for me because my father passed away about 10 years ago. And Daya messaged me and, like, sent me, like, paragraphs on paragraphs of, like, oh, my gosh, like, let me, like, let me just, like, a very heart-to-heart -heart moment. Like, I'm not going to share those details because that's, like, for me. But I sent the screenshot to my sister because, like, obviously my sister and I share that bond of, like, losing our father. And my sister, like, was literally, like, teary-eyed and was like, oh, my God, like, I love, I love Daya on the show. And to know this, it's so much better. Like, it was just so crazy. And, like, I I love Daya. I love Crystal. I love Deegan. And I love Lux. Like, that, they're my girls. Like, I, they're, nothing... Nothing you could say about Crystal, Daya, Deegan, or Lux would change my mind, especially Crystal and Daya, because especially even Crystal, because like Crystal, I don't think she understands this because like we just kiki online and we just like like each other's statuses and reply to each other's tweets and stuff. But she literally changed my life with just one stream we did. She changed all of my friendships, my relationships. She changed my career path of like having so many followers made it possible for me to do streaming on the daily because people would keep coming back after the stream. And like, I don't think she realizes the impact she's had to just for doing one little silly collab. Like, I think she just probably thinks it's like a cute little Kiki. And like, I it's not like I didn't pay or anything. It was just, it wasn't free. Like we were in quarantine. I did it to benefit her. Like all the tips and donations went to her, but like, seriously, that woman has changed my life forever. Like I love crystal method down boots. Like seriously. And Daya and all of them. I just love them all. They're sweeties. You know, I've heard that plants grow better if you play music for them. And on that note, it's been a while since I last heard you play. Sorry, I've been a little busy these last couple days. Are you guys flirting? Oh, the Dendro Archon. What a pleasant surprise. Hmm? Oh, welcome, Great Dendro Archon. And your companions, too. Welcome. I'm Amira. I run the flower shop here. And this is my husband, Moses. Yes, how may we help you? You already know all about me. There's no need for all the pleasantries. Perhaps I should call you the dream's owner? Uh. <laughs> As expected of the Dendro Archon. I'm sorry, Amira. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Why don't you go back to the flower shop? I'll come help you a little later. Okay, of course, dear. I'll see you later. It appears that I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person like okay, this. Okay, this... What is happening? To avoid looking like too much of a fool, allow me to ask the first question. How well would you say you understand this dream? This dream was built by the Akasha, and it has the power to create imaginary people who no longer exist in the real world. As for you, you found a unique way to become the owner of this dream, going so far as to have even given up the ability to wake up again. Given up? Oh my god, so so loud. <laughs> Impressive. You truly are the embodiment of wisdom. Please, tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. In return, I'll answer the question you're most Will you play Starwell? 
Whale? It's simple. I will play Star Rail. Apart from you, this space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people Thank you, who Fran. are created here. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I can't sense your dream. How can I wake up a person who's already awake? Fascinating. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. I have to admit, it really doesn't get much better than that. But even knowing all of that, one question remains. How did you do it? Isn't the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? It's because I've dedicated my entire reality to this dream. I uploaded my entire consciousness into the Akasha when it was still running. Girl! Actually, this all started because of an accident. My original goal was not about the Akasha or a collective dream. No. You were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. The desire to reconnect with a real loved one is the one shared sentiment between all our dreamers. That's right. However, human models are too complicated. Only the Akasha has a Nyana energy supply powerful enough for me to generate and sustain my models. The Akasha is truly magnificent. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, nobody would even notice. And even this minuscule amount of energy was already more than enough for my purposes. Even using just crude methods, I was still able to train a fairly realistic person. I named my first work Amira. Uh. Huh? Uh. You mean the girl we just saw? Uh. Uh. She and I uh. entered the academia on the same day. Uh. Starting with admission procedures, we bumped into each other six times on just that first day. And because of that one day, we eventually went on to fall in love. We studied, conducted research, and made breakthroughs together. Our rhythm was always in step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. However, Ella's later took her from me. So you created a new... You're weird. Yes, I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. I found their details in the Akasha's database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, I implanted signaling devices in their bodies. Yeah! This way I could connect them to a network, and Amira could feel their yearning. Little by little, they helped her to grow and develop a warm, human personality. This guy's crazy! To my efficiency and allow myself to focus on nothing but my research, I uploaded my consciousness as well, and became a part of the network. He's part of the Nemesis Network. So, technically speaking, it's not that you won't wake up, it's that you can't wake up. Yes, because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. I became imprisoned in the very network I had constructed. He's imprisoned first, in the Nevis' network. I panicked. But, after coming to grips with the situation, I realized that I could restart this world as long as I could find a replacement source of Nyana energy. That means everyone in the network is providing you with Nyana energy! Nyana! That That's word is really funny. Is to it. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them as well as myself. I provide a beautiful dream, and in return, I harvest their Nyana energy as fuel for the dream. They can wake up any time they wish. People need to sleep anyway, so why not have some beautiful dreams while they rest? Oh, so he's been controlling the dreams because he's a freak. This is the home we spent a great deal of effort on to build for ourselves. Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. I don't I... understand this at all, but... I just want to spend some more time with my family. I don't want them to be sad. Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon, I hope you can understand. No, you guys, this isn't how you really here. feel. It's he has right. stuff in your the great brain. Great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate towards her people. She won't see. He's manipulating you. them. Uh oh, now he's playing dirty. He is. He's playing nasty. 
Nasty. What you waiting for? He's literally a cultist. This is like, what is that one guy that did the don't drink the Kool-Aid? Or, well, they did drink the Kool-Aid and they, oh, oh. Who was that guy? His name was like John, what? Jonestown, yes. This is very Jonestown tease. Yes, honey, Jonestown work. Sorry, that's, oh. <laughs> it seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. If you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon, then there's nothing the Archon can do. They just want to be with Until the I do this. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong about that? The eyes? If you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced oh, the eyes, eye of surgery, safety BB. Of loss, then perhaps you wouldn't be so cold towards us. If you had used your talents and determination for a just cause, you could have become a sage of the new generation. Unfortunately, you've committed one of the six cardinal sins of the academia by attempting the forbidden and fearing none. You equated people's feelings with cold Nyana energy. Nyanya. <laughs> Pain that they have to face. You lured them into these dreams and even now remain completely unaware of how evil all of this truly is. Pain? Luring? Those kinds of things haven't existed here from the moment this world was created. Who wanna touch who I'm touching the nyanya? Right <laughs> this is Ilmon's child, Hydar. I'm smacking my nyanya. Huh? My daughter? What's wrong with her? This dream relies on a set network, which means that only those with devices planted in their bodies can enter this world. Carefully think back and retrace your steps. I... secretly went back to the mountainside with Hydar. Minar was already there waiting for me, and Hydar was able to see her mother. Uh, oh. You mean... She isn't actually the real Hydar? Oh! No, because unlike you, she can't enter this dream. Oh! The moment you came into this dream, it created a Hydar to realize your wish of reuniting with your family. Oh! So, tell me, where's the real Hydar? She's still out there on the mountainside. I'm in me mom's right. car. And she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right mind. Not to mention the monsters in that area. The situation is very dangerous. If the hide are still out there, then... She's alive? What are you talking about, Dad? Don't I listen to this say. thing! That thing's a... I must wake up Duh? right now. I can't leave her there alone. Oh. <sighs> it seems the others have also remembered something. People try to avoid pain and stay in their perceived bubbles of safety out of an instinct to protect themselves. This is human nature, but it is also one of their weaknesses. However, why are there still so many people striving to move forward? Why are you looking? know the path ahead is dangerous and painful. It's because people don't only live for themselves. They have families, loved ones, friends, and communities. They have dreams that they are still trying to achieve. This Bob. But in this dream, oh. you showed them only the most comfortable house music. Pain. This entire world has been built on the foundation of buried and unseen pain. Girl, it's all just a well-devised scam. It seems like I've stayed in the dream for too Girl. long. Look what you did, house music. I still have so many things I haven't done. Huh. I thought gods didn't understand humans. Is this that guy's name Moses? Like from the Bible? Tragedies took place. Who is Moses? I didn't expect you to arrive at the answer. Is he the guy that was parting the Red Seas, or was that? Unfortunately, it means nothing. Jesus. Now. If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend Please. some time alone with Amira. As long as this dream continues to exist, you'll come back. Humans aren't as strong as you think. And even if you're a god, they won't always listen to you. 
It's time to Wait, Beth Leeham would be a good drag name. Noise. Why would why did you just moan into the mic? You, you know who actually parted the Red Sea? It was Widowmaker from Overwatch. She ate that. I am the master of this dream. I can create endless waves of monsters with the snap of a finger. How about the younger? Don't wake up before they get hurt. Mira doesn't like to see others in pain. If you know what's good. I think it was Kelly Kelly actually that parted the Red Seas. That's mother. I was gonna make my drag name Persephone. I'm glad I didn't. All eyes on me. Could mine. You haven't won just yet. This oh, a cutscene? This dream is mine! If I go into hiding here, not even an Archon can ever find me. And as long as people yearn for happiness, they will return here and rebuild this paradise! <sighs> hey, Dad! <sighs> What's that? This dream is spiraling out of control and it's collapsing now. This dream is spiraling me, AF. Um, um, <laughs> now you've done it. Oh no, Amira, 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 you're so dumb. <laughs> Amira, are you all right? I don't feel well. <laughs> No, no, no. Please, no. It's literally your own fault, you psycho. Get him for me. Get away from there. Don't ruin my flowers. What should I do? Where did go? Left because he doesn't want you anymore. Yeah. This dance is for you. Grow, grow, grow. Make yourself a move. Yeah, you were a robot. Oh, that's over. But what happened just now? He's not very proficient in using the Akasha's technology, and he spent a lot of Nyana energy creating monsters. Now the system is out of control. Man child. All the people he created also turned into monsters, including Amira. It's terrible, even for a dream. Even Paimon's freaked out. Uh, Paimon can't imagine what they're going through. The good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided. Now we only need to wake up the people here and let them return to their real lives. Amira. My dear Amira. They're all gone. It was just a big dream after all. I couldn't change my fate. And my knowledge turned out to oh, be. Oh, so useless. now you feel bad after you're a manipulator a and a cult world. leader? Who cares? Do you still think this is our fault? I don't care about that anymore. 
the Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been I'll show you some Nyana. Monsters. This dream will soon collapse in my consciousness along with it. Goodbye, bitch. Disappear with Umira. I'd rather turn into dust than to ever wake up again. I'd rather you did too. Especially in that ugly ass Bob. It seems that everything that's happened is too much for him. He's lost all hope. I think seeing Amira turn into a monster was punishment enough for him. No. He can get After more. After comprehending the hollowness of the unreal, it's time to revisit the meaning of existence. Not the Ashley Bob. Existence? I actually could. I want to play others. Resident Evil 4 again. I've long given up everything outside of my gosh. With some more mods. Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to extract your consciousness from here and put it inside a knowledge capsule. The academia has probably kept your body, so you should be able to wake up soon. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No need. Just let me disappear. Reality means nothing to me now. Why is it so delayed? This isn't compassion. I won't let you escape your punishment by simply disappearing. Get him! As for your life after that, it will be up to you how you want to exist. Alright, Traveler and Paimon, we should go back. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. The walking. Was that a wish? Did somebody get a five star? What's wrong, Nahida? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, let's tell the people here to gather at a moment of dreams after they wake up. What was that? I want to know. Oh, great. You're awake. Everybody has started to wake up, and we've heard similar reports from around the city as well. From the looks of it, you were able to successfully resolve- Yes, though it took us a good deal. There will be many people gathering here shortly, so please do your best to maintain order. I need to go to the academia with them now, but we'll be back soon. Are we going to- Streamer lock. Oh, I don't have enough for a wish. That's embarrassing. Yes, but it may take some time for him to wake up after his consciousness returns to his body. We can leave the rest to the Matra. Hey, guys. Oh, it's the great Dendro Archon. How can I help you? I would like, I would like a number five with extra fries, please. Oh. Scholar. He should be in an unconscious state right now. Okay. Just a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Veinuni who's been unconscious for a while. He hasn't regained consciousness yet. Huh? Isn't his name... I guess he didn't want to be recognized or bought, please. Give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra and ask them to import it into Veinuni's brain. Understood. But first... It's simple. This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, I'll inform the General Mahamatra of all the details. I see. I'll take care of this. Mm -hmm. no. All right. Everyone should have got. I don't trust her. Sit. I don't trust her. Can we do it? I feel like we can do it. <laughs> Everyone here I don't trust. I literally trust nobody. Let's be quiet and just listen in. Thank God. Like Shut up, Paimon. Hello, all of you who have just woken up. Ten bucks, Paimon will talk when she just told us to shut up. Beautiful dreams. I may have acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. I sincerely apologize for that. Dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity and help those with aspirations achieve their desires. 
<clears throat> the dreams also have the potential to exploit people, confuse the senses, and distort the truth. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate scheme. As I've said before, I am still learning and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. But just take a good look around you, and you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. You should be proud that you've been able to gather here and look toward the future together. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. What's the meaning of life? What's the purpose of my existence? Why do I keep experiencing pain and loss? Of course, the most comfortable choice is to stop progressing. Give up thinking, and just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar with. Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things around you. Okay, TED Some Talk. Some people work hard all day so that their families can have a hot meal on the table at night. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavat. Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. <sighs> Look, friends and family will remember what you've done, and even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Therefore, many people will strive forward to forge new paths, even if they have to endure great pain to do so. Once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, you'll come to know the answers to those big existential questions, yet they will no longer feel as life-defining as they did before. But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an empty, ephemeral dream, then that's also the only thing it will ever become. You are free to choose how you want to live your lives, but as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. Nahida said she wanted to speak with us alone. It seems like she went to the plaza in front of the academia. God damn it. Of course, I have a fucking quest that is overlapping with this one, so I can't see the conclusion of this one. Excuse us, let me skip through this dialogue so we can do this one. Ignore this. This is part of my quest. You two look familiar, but if you'd like, I can pass whatever. We ran in Oh? <sighs> Siraj, Siraj. Vahuman Yes, one of them. There are rumors he'll become Vahuman. I want to report. He kidnapped me. I ran as fast as I could. There's no rush. What kind yeah, of yeah, experiment yeah, yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah, 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 Shut up, shut what? up. All I remember, it's like a nightmare. Oh, I heard they can. Even if what you said before that, I would like. You think I've lost? Please don't take it the wrong way. Sorry, but can you two wait out here? I hate them. Let me bring you up to speed. First things first, Ilyas passed the lie detector test. This indicates that what per protocol this matter was. Huh? It's kind. You're overthinking. Really? In that case. It's already against. Oh, never mind. Don't you worry. I. All right. In that, Ilyas claimed that Siraj. Incidentally, Siraj is. Not... It's close to the time that Ilyas. That's right. There we go. All right, we're fine. <laughs> Back to the quest we were actually caring about. Hey, Queen. You're amazing, Nahida. Even Paimon was nearly won over by that scholar in that dream. Well, he's very good at manipulating the weaknesses.
weaknesses of human nature, but perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them long ago. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. Ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. But as long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. Huh? What makes you say that? Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people! Oh, my leg. Your speech just now really connected with everyone! You did a good job! Shut up, Paimon. Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey, and several of them have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong, and what they wanted was also not unreasonable. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. Benyuni, or Morseis, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. But oh, I have an itch on my head, but I'm wearing this hat and a this wig. Oh my god, and a wig cap. Ah! The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. It was so warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. But when I opened my eyes, she is, the yeah. feeling was gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased. But I can still see the slight indentations of where the words had been written. But now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that warmth. It's enough that I can tell I was once supported by that warmth, and its existence has allowed me to get to where I am today. If I dwell too much on its exact nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. I gave a speech to inspire my people, so if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. <laughs> hey, what's with that serious look? Shut up. You keep looking like there's something you want to say. Is there any? <laughs> okay. Since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. A new day is about to begin. Well, Nahida's a god reincarnated, so she's like learning, but like she inherits the powers of an older god. So like she's still learning. Like everything. About being a god, basically. Wow, there was like no cutscenes in that story quest. That's pretty bizarre. That was cute though, I like that. Yeah. Streamer lock! <gasps> oh my god, I won! Oh my god! Oh! No way. Wow. <laughs> I ate that. Look at how I ate that. Girl, no one wants to play Sino Story Quest. Like, actually, nobody. There's crickets. The crickets are even cricketing. Oh 
Wow. I ate that. Wee. Oh my god, I just stretched out my leg. Oh, there's like wrinkles on my leg. Isn't that Nahida? Nahida! Paima didn't think we'd run into you here. I'm just God's favorite. I'm oh, Nahida's is. favorite. God's favorite. It's been a while, hasn't it? What have you two been up <laughs> Seems like you've been enjoying yourselves. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking out for some weeds while getting some fresh air. I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Ermin's soul. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do. But I can't remember what it is. Well, tell us. What is that? Don't worry, we'll help you remember. Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Oh. That's nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Shut up. It looks like it's filled with some kind of power. Mm -hmm. I found it in the sanctuary of Suristana, but I have no recollection of it whatsoever. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't figure out what it is. Traveler, do you have any ideas? Hmm. You know, Nahida, we just happen to be going on an adventure right now. If we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know right away. Thanks, you two. I didn't mean to trouble you again. No, Paimon's the one troubling me. Surprise. What is this guy doing? Oh! Huh? Hey, get out! You shouldn't be around here! Hello? I'm sorry, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Fungi don't usually come near this place. Last warning! Get out before I kick you out, you hear? Hang on. I think it's trying to tell us something. But, Great Dendro Archon, it's a monster! Please, don't worry. Hmm, I think I understand. I don't. Seems that it wants us to follow it. What? You can understand it? Mm-hmm. Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we I can feel its anxiety and fear. Well, fungi... When I walk into Sumeru and Nikita That's sees a, a dark oh, cloud of anxiety and fear, because I'm walking in. Although they all look about the same, some fungi are friendly, while others are super aggressive and attack anyone they see. It can't be helped. Perhaps in their eyes, humans are like fierce monsters as well. A dog? I. After all, they can't distinguish which human behaviors are hostile <laughs> or not. And it'd already be too late for them once humans have drawn their weapons. Oh, goodbye. Hence why they tend to strike first, rather than waiting. That's not too different from how humans think sometimes. That's what I meant by shared emotions. It was in a hurry because of this unconscious fungus. Hmm. Seems like they might be family. And we just so murdered these things on the daily. Wanted to bring Nahida here to help its family member. Probably. Although fungi are simple creatures, they're very sensitive to elemental power. Maybe it noticed me on my way back and thought I'd be able to help. I'll take a look. I should be able to help if it's just a common illness. Hmm? What is it, Nahida? Strange. Very strange. Oh, Jesus. This fungus didn't develop from a spore. It's an elemental life form. Huh? An elemental life form? Yes. 
Although the fungi you normally see are capable of using elemental powers, they're merely borrowing elemental power from nature around them. As for this fungus, it has elemental power flowing through it. Definitely not anything like your typical fungus. Exactly. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So this is a first even for Nahida. But that's not all. There's a large void within its elemental power. The void is stopping the elemental power from flowing normally, which must be why it fainted. So do you think it'll wake up if we can fill the void? Yes, and I just so happen to be good at this sort of thing. I'll see what I can do right away. power was compatible. Looks like everything is fine now. Lord of Dendro? Is it really the Lord of Dendro? What? Oh, I can't believe the Lord of Dendro saved me. Thank you, as well as the stranger and preacher next to you. <coughs> it can talk? Oh, I didn't expect such a strange creature to make a sound like that. Seems I'm just as shocked as you are. The voice? I'm scared. Of course Paimon can talk. And Paimon isn't a strange creature. Pa Hello, Paimon. I am not yet able to evaluate an organism's intelligence from its appearance. Oh, uh, well... But does Paimon really look so dumb that people might think Paimon doesn't know how to talk? You don't want me to answer that. You must understand, Paimon. A mouth is used for eating... So a creature may not speak, even if it has a mouth. Even if you do possess a number of human traits, it is still very common for creatures to have similar external forms, but completely different interiors. Did this fungus study at the academia? <laughs> She's getting read down. Than Paimon. You're not a fungus, are you? That's correct. This might be surprising to you, and I'm sure that you must have questions. Let's find somewhere else to talk. It might startle my fellow family members if I speak too much using this strange voice. Me, 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 me. It says that it's very thankful for your help. Um. I. I was confident that I knew of all the creatures in Tavak. Want to get a granola bar? Even if there are ones I've never seen with my own eyes, I thought I possessed all the relevant knowledge about them. However, even if I were to lay out the traits of all elemental life forms, you don't seem to match any of them. What are you? Oh, I don't have a granola bar. I come from an ancient place. We have Just existed for a very long time. Possibly longer than any records in existence. My home was filled with flowing water and great mountains. Lush grass covered the land, and my family and I lived in bliss and happiness. Until the apocalypse came and changed my home forever. Oh, wow. Terrifying <gasps> power consumed all there was. The seeds of catastrophe nested and grew inside of us. Twisting and warping us, causing us to lose control. We were victims of the apocalypse. Yet in time, we also became the apocalypse itself. Uh. The apocalypse? I'm not sure what it means either. It sounds like some kind of old fable. It's a long and complicated story. It will take me some time to explain it clearly. Don't worry, we'll listen. Please continue. I was lucky and managed to survive. Afterward, I left with some of my family and came to Sumeru to search for a way to rescue my homeland. We came in contact with many species and learned from their cultures and knowledge, hoping to understand the truth behind the apocalypse. We later found out that humans know the power of the apocalypse and refer to it as forbidden knowledge. Uh-oh. Your home 
almost destroyed by forbidden knowledge? Does that mean you're from the desert? It's said that they are looking for a way to save their homeland, but the catastrophe at the desert should have ended a long time ago. The Lord of Dendro is correct. We are not from the desert. I would very much like to tell you the location of my homeland, but unfortunately, I've forgotten. That may sound a little odd, as it is very important to both me and my family. Yes, how could you forget? I am a life form that was contaminated by the apocalypse. A part of my knowledge and memory was taken away as the contamination inside of me was purged. Ah, I get it now. So the void of elemental power was left behind from when the forbidden knowledge was purged. I'm sorry. I hadn't considered that kind of possibility. That's okay. Lord of Dendro, there is no need to apologize. Without your help, I would have lost more than just my knowledge and memory. And not only did you save me, but you've also already rid the world of the remaining forbidden knowledge, right? Um... That's right. The forbidden knowledge is no more, and your homeland should be safe now. My home should be safe now. We can go home. For the longest time, this moment has only seemed like a dream. I never knew it would become a reality so quickly. I was unable to fulfill our calling. I never found a way to save my homeland, and I have even forgotten where it is. It's not your fault. You've already done everything you can. Every species paid a grave price in the fight against forbidden knowledge. This is not a responsibility you should carry on your own. You mentioned that there were other survivors besides yourself. Where are they? Maybe they'll remember. The apocalypse put us through immense pain. Many of my family members have already met their end. I'm not sure who else is still alive. Don't worry, I should be able to find them. Just leave it to me. I'll leave the rainforest to the Aranara. And as for the city, there are a few nice kids that should be willing to help. Oh, yeah! They'll give us a hand! Give me a moment. I'll contact them right now. That should do it. It may take some time to find them, so let's wait for a bit. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. We all believe that you will keep your promises. The moment I saw you when I awoke, I had a feeling you were here because of the agreement. Hmm? Agreement? You might not remember, but this is a prophecy that we deeply believe in. That the Lord of Dendro will bring us home once I the stay. catastrophe comes to an end. Ah, oh, I see. I... I'm sorry. There are also some blurry segments in my memory as well. But I'm very concerned about your homeland. This is something I should help with. It's really no trouble to me at all. Would you all be willing to come with me somewhere as we wait? I don't trust this jellyfish. <laughs> the more family members that can return home with me, the better. But didn't you say that you don't know where they are? Yes, but I know their end. I will explain it to you along the way. What is happening? I'm scared. <laughs> This thing is gonna murder us in like a back alleyway. I'm scared of her. I wanna see her true form. I bet it's like a girl boss gown. I'll gag. There's something that I'm very concerned about. Me too, bitch! Yes. I didn't mention it just now, but do you remember when I told you that the power in the crystal is very similar to mine? 
yet also different? The elemental power inside the crystal is completely identical to that of the fungus. Oh. What? Exactly. The prophecy that it mentioned was probably an agreement that I made with an elemental life form that once represented its race. Oh. I had to deal with the forbidden knowledge to save their homeland. The process, however, took away some of my memories. What if Nikita's That's the reason why they're all dead? Oh. explain the persistent oh. feeling that I had unfinished business. <laughs> Makes sense. Too bad it's unable to tell us more. Yeah, I've been trying to think of a place that fits the description of its homeland. Agreed. I really want to send them home. What if this thing is like, I know what you really did, Nahida, and it pulls out a gun and it's like, I'm gonna take you out myself for oh, taking out. A little rough. I'll lead the way. I'm Don't scared. Worry. Paimon can handle any road. Ah! Enemies! Get up, traveler! You are not welcome. Commit to memory. Amazing. With such skills, you all would have definitely been able to find a way to survive the apocalypse. Uh, hey, Paimon has been meaning to ask. You all didn't originally look like this, did you? No, we didn't. The appearance of our kind will change according to the environment. After communicating with various living organisms in Sumeru, we discovered that fungi are the life form most adapted to live in these lands. Thus, we gradually took the form of fungi and became a part of their group. It's hard to believe that's even possible. The most important instinct any life form possesses is adapting to the environment. I don't think that should surprise you, Paimon. Your hand is shaped like that for a reason, so you are able to grip and use tools more easily. Do you guys see the like subliminal messaging they're putting in here? Paimon, you should know how to adapt to life and survive in the environment. That's why you look like that, and that's why you're acting like that. Oh! Oh! Cool! Clock her! Clock her! The reason why fungi absorb elemental power is to blend with the environment and fend off natural predators. We are Dendro life forms, one of the most ancient life forms in this land. That is why we are so adaptable. So you mean, if Paimon wanted to, Paimon could change into a different form as well? Not as freely, I'm afraid. You would require a long time to make that happen. Although this is common sense to us, you know what's happening, Donnie. Your mom! Explain. Owned. Putting it as simply as possible, changing form requires energy, and energy comes with time. You cannot make a sprout grow into a giant tree instantly, nor can you force a tree to bear fruit overnight. I see. Humans have a term for this. It's called growth. Ah. Smart Nahida, Paimon gets it now. Growth. I see. Yes, then this is what you would call growth. A most beautiful word. I shall enjoy it more as we walk. Oh. How much farther is it? We're about halfway there. You're doing great, Paimon. Do you need me to carry you on my back? Huh? Oh no, Paimon was just curious. Paimon isn't that tired. This is giving Gladys from <laughs> Portal. He seems to enjoy taking care of others. You think so? Does the Lord of Dendro need to be carried? Uh, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Why don't you fly up and sit on top of my head?
I know, literally. I'm like, Paimon, shut up, challenge. I think we may. No matter whether it's tired or not, my child is always happy when I put it on my back and give it a ride. Child? You mean the fun guy we ran into earlier? Yes. One was my friend, and the other was my child. No, that's not but what you said earlier. Speak. Because it's just a fungus. I don't want my presence to change or affect the original state of the fungi species here. However, it is slightly different from an ordinary fungus. It seems to understand some human language, so I gave it a name. Oh, then it must be a really cute name. You know, like Bongo Head. Hmm, you have an odd taste for names. Get her. <laughs> Strange and cute at the same time. It's a name only Paimon would be able to come up with. Stupid <laughs> and That's stupid. Right. Get her. The name I came up with was not as creative as Paimon's. I learned it from an adventurer. It's. I'm scared. Its name is. I'm sorry, but I've forgotten. Uh, seems like I've forgotten many important things. No, you're lying. You're lying. If you forgot the name of your fucking child, how do you even remember that you have a child? Liar. Liar. Yes, I must remember it before I return. It's just as important as my homeland. Girl. Yes, this way. This thing We're is guilty. There. You're done. Is anyone with me? Does anyone agree? It's leading us to a, literally a withering zone. It wants to kill us. It's the withering. Yes, I have heard humans. It's the last form we take when we are at the end of our life. What? It's trying to say that when they've suffered enough and reached the end of their life, they become a tumor of the withering. Yes. I would have also suffered the same fate if it wasn't for the Lord of Dendro's help. So, this is... Previous research has revealed that forbidden knowledge is the root cause of the withering. Uh but even if forbidden knowledge has been completely removed, its influence still remains. Which is why the withering remains even after forbidden knowledge has disappeared. They've been tormented by forbidden knowledge for a long time. But what a sad and pitiful end. When I left my homeland, flowers like these filled the fields. Each bloom represented an individual life. They grew in the pristine lakes, in the fertile soil, in my home. They grew everywhere. Until the world suddenly lost all its color and became tainted and murky. But it's all right. Our life essence, elemental power, still resides in this flower. After an adventurer clears the withering, I will quietly draw near the area. If I can sense the elemental power of my companions, then I take them with me. But that would mean the effects of forbidden knowledge could have... It's okay. That's not important anymore. I just hope that they can all make it back home. It's not right to leave them to simply perish in the open like this. Now that we finally have the chance to return home, each one I manage to bring back will make me that much happier. I understand. Hi, Jamie. Just leave it to us. This is weird. So you're worried about me. <laughs> it's fine. Forbidden knowledge doesn't exist anymore. Girl, it's there's an alien talking to us. With a highly uh, Paimon doesn't get what you two are, so let's do this. We've dealt with the withering countless times already. So you, so you want us to clear the withering? You want us to murder this bitch's friends? I mean... <laughs> I'm down because she's about to murder us. Like she's literally gonna kill us. I'm scared. 
Oh, she's toast. Girl, please. Thank you. Oh! How are you? I'm good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold. Oh! Oh, we're gonna die. Okay, we're good. Um, we played Princess Peach earlier. We finished it, and by finish, I mean I stopped playing it because it's getting too difficult to play. I thought we were gonna start Mario Odyssey but I've decided against it because I'm kind of into the Genshin quest right now. Uh, yeah, we're chilling. Oh my God, I'm literally like suffering. It's because my team is out of order. I hate that when it does a trial character out of order. Pick this up and then we clear it. As I expected, it's the last of my kind that I'm aware of. So oh. it wasn't able to make it to the end. If only it could have held on just a little longer. I hope that you will be free of this pain after returning home. Just thinking about how many elemental life forms have turned into tumors of the withering makes Paimon sad. You don't care. It's okay. As long as elemental power still exists, then we will still be around. Me when I lie. An external form is but a gift of time. Through growth comes change, and even abandonment of previous forms. However, our true nature is not so easily affected. It wouldn't have come to this if we were able to cure them earlier. But I will cure all of them. Even if it's just for the sake of the rainforest and all the life forms that live in it. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. It was a wise choice for us to place our trust in you and wait. Hold on. I think I got something. What? Thank you. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand. Thank you so, so. They found a fungus that matches the description I gave them. I'm just trying some new it's makeup shapes. It must be in a similar situation as I was. We should hurry and go take a look. Okay, follow me. Oh my god, it is so far away. We're close now. It's just a little further inside. But there are so many fungi here. They're probably all ordinary fungi, right? Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do it often, because, like, it makes my eyes very no small, but These are all I just want to try new stuff, you know? Although we belong to different species, we've spent a long time living among the fungi. They are very important to us. They can be reasonable, as long as we try to communicate. What should we do? You're the only one who can make it through, right? But you'll need Nahida's power if you want to save that fungus. I've got an idea. Can you teach me how to change into a fungus? You want to transform into a fungus? But we don't have time for growth. Nahida is a god. Changing into a fungus. It's actually Onyx's. They left it at my house, so I decided to wear it. Fungus <laughs> can't bend the laws of time so easily. Then we'll have to enter with the risk of being noticed. We may not be able to avoid a fight. But if spending some of my power will guarantee the safety of you and its family, then I'm willing to try. Alright. 
You have great elemental power, so you may be able to do it. You will have to use power equal to that which is required to break through the limitations of time. I will lend you the relevant knowledge that I have. It should make your transformation process a little easier. All right, I'm ready. Changing into a fungus should be quite an interesting experience. Lord of Dendro, this is nothing to joke about. I am extremely serious about this. Hmm? As am I. I'm not joking at all. All right, all right! Let's not get hung up here. If it's really possible to turn into a fungus, then why don't we give it a try now? Okay. Good luck, Lord of Dendro. Oh! Wow! You really turned into a fungus! It's actually not too bad. My perspective in this form isn't much different from usual. The unconscious fungus is just below here. Can you all help me determine which one it is? Oh, how do we do that? I'll get close to them while you make your way over from above. Same. You should be able to identify them using elemental sight since they're elemental life forms. <laughs> then, all you have to do is repeat the correct answer in your mind. As long as I'm able to see you, then I'll be able to hear your answer. Okay, got it. Let me lure away the fungi up top. All right, good luck, Nahida. Let's go, Traveler. No, we wish. There's a fungus on patrol in the center there. It looks pretty vigilant, so I'd better go around it. Nana! Nana! Me. It seems that fungus won't be moving for the moment. I should hurry and make... This is the spot. There are several fungi here. I'll hide and wait for the traveler to catch... I can only assume it's the fungus that is sleeping. It's that one. Ah, so this is the one. <sighs> Nahida? What's... <sighs> I never knew that it was so tiring to change forms like that. I even use the techniques that it taught me. The power of time accumulates slowly and goes unnoticed. Thank you for everything you've done. All seems to have gone according to plan. <sighs> Who are you? I apologize. Language is not easy. Oh. Only a long time. It's okay, I have good news. Let me explain it to you the fungi way. Apocalypse ended? Go home now? Yes. Unfortunately, I've forgotten where home is. I was hoping you still remembered. I remember. Really? That's great! Home. Dendro Dragon. Eh, uh, ha. Huh? Dendro Dragon. Ah, yes, the Dendro Dragon. The, the what? I'm sorry, I just got so excited. I've probably never expressed such a. Oh, wait a minute. Hyman's confused. Do you mean the Dendro Dragon as in an elemental dragon? 
Like Gavalin? Yes. They're both dragons, but a pep, the Dendro Dragon, has been around for longer and has accumulated dense elemental power. But I uh... don't quite understand. Why would you say that your homeland is a dragon? Because we live inside the Dendro Dragon. Uh, 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 the Dendro Dragon. Inside. Very big. Mountains. Water. Trees. Us. What? There is an entire world inside the Dendro Dragon's body. The Dendro Dragon nurtured the earliest life forms and protected us inside of itself. Huh? It once told us in a majestic voice that once we finally matured, we'd be able to start life in a new world. However, that day never came. Our homeland was the greatest place there ever was before the apocalypse arrived. Paimon's still confused. Yes, a very good example. It appeared... Wait, then if that's the case... Doesn't that imply that a pep has also been contaminated by forbidden knowledge? Yes, that is correct. What has suddenly made you look so worried, Lord of Dendro? A pep is the most adaptable life form in the world. The forbidden knowledge should have become a part of its body a long time ago. Which means that if all the forbidden knowledge has been eliminated... Then a big void will also form inside the dragon! What? I'm afraid so. Its body and soul have probably been in terrible sh- No wonder I haven't seen a pep for so long. Hmm. But anyway, yes! How come if the Dendro Dragon fails to hang on? Dendro elemental power of that concentration, giant trees will completely block out the sun. Plants and humans will fight over oxygen. Samira will no longer be suitable for sustaining life. Huh? Okay, anyways. Hey, what about the crystal? Why don't you show it to them and see if they know anything about it? <sighs> yes, I'm sorry. You're right. We don't have time to panic. Have you two ever seen anything like this before? No. Its power feels very familiar. Like something from our homeland, but I don't know what it is. I'm sorry our memories aren't very reliable. It's okay. I'll contact my helpers just as I did before and see if they can locate your other family members. I'm counting on you all. Your info is crucial to us now. Let's wait for their reply again. Though I know waiting can feel unbearable at a time like this. Thank you. Family bringing food. I explained to them that you aren't hostile. After seeing you save it, its family is very grateful to you. Go home, thief. Heart decision. Don't know. They are weak. I worry. If waiting, then I hope. Don't worry. I understand what you are trying to say. Family is very important to us. No matter when we were actually family. It has done a lot to protect this territory and can't help but worry now. Can you do one last thing for it while we wait? Of course. I can relate to how it's feeling. I need to organize my thoughts as well. Thank you. Thank you. Tend. Soil. Food. Don't like plant invasion. There are two things that it wants you to do. One is to look after the land that the food is grown in. And the other is to drive away the plants that are trying to invade the area. Soil! There! First! See! Here! Paimon understood that! No need to translate! We'll take care of it right away!
Take it easy. What the? It was a kitty when its dead parents were mating. My girl grow. The temple of wisdom. Allow me. All eyes on me. That should be all of them. That wasn't too tough. Yeah, I've come down now. But it doesn't seem like there's too much we can do until we receive some new leads. Can you tell us about the Dendro Dragon? We don't know anything about it. Who is it? And what does it have to do with King Deshret? Well, the history of dragons starts from the very beginning of Tevat. Sumeru was a Pep's territory. In those days, the lush rainforest covered the entire nation. Oh, so there was no desert back then? Not at first. That came when a giant spike fell from the sky, turning a huge section of the rainforest into sand. In an attempt to adapt to its new environment, a pep changed color from the emerald green of the forest to the yellow of the sand. No wonder those two elemental life forms are always talking about the importance of adapting. A pep has always seen itself as the master of Sumeru, and has refused to recognize the new order that was established. Even now, it probably still holds. It's just like not fun anymore. Gods. Like every stream, I just get uncomfortable. It's like never just like a. And then the okay. Many we're fine. It's been unable to stir up any trouble. Conflicts between the two sides are destined to continue until a balance can be found. As far as I know, a pep had been slumbering in the desert, and King Deshret had taken a great interest in it. Maybe this is why a pep was contaminated. I'm not sure what may have led it to become involved, but rescuing it is definitely our top priority right now. The crystal that I have in my possession is probably the key that links the two matters together. Understand. What it's trying to say is that as long as family members get along well, then nothing else matters. You place importance on appearances, but we do not. We find the experiences, knowledge, and connections we've made to be more important. These are all things that are more reliable than mere external appearances. These are the fruits of time, and the essence of what it means to grow. now looks can always change so what's inside of us is more important follow 
you around. Wait, would you not be able to recognize Paimon? Oh? Hmm. Understood. Thank you. Still nothing new from the forest. Seems like we won't be able to find your other family members for now. <sighs> it appears we are out of leads to follow. And if no one knows how this crystal works, then the pet may be in danger. <sighs> Sorry. It's okay. It isn't your fault. I don't think it's a coincidence that neither of you can remember anything about the crystal. Maybe it's because the crystal has a very close connection to forbidden knowledge, which causes memories of it to be unclear. And if that's the case, finding the other fun guy still wouldn't help us at all. Hmm. The crystal and the apocalypse. The apocalypse and memories. Lord of Dendro, do you still remember the prophecy? Mm-hmm, I do. What about it? The prophecy is a story that connects events of the past and the future. A family member once said that the apocalypse is a part of us and that there is value in preserving it. The rest of the family did not approve of its opinion at the time, so it left. Preserving the apocalypse? Do you mean that there's still some that hasn't been eliminated? That's not very likely. The power of Ermin's soul covers every inch of the land. Did the prophecy say where that... To the limitless depths east of Sumeru. A murky place that no one can return from. Yeah, that must be the chasm, right? But what is it doing there? Hmm. It's a... What if it can be converted to a different... I'm sorry if I'm suddenly not making... Follow me. Alex We're going back to the chasm What? There's no way dude Why are we in the chasm? life form came all the way here on its own and spent a long time by itself? Wouldn't it already have become the withering like the others? There is a chance that it could avoid that end using the power of something here. I'm referring to what was used to fight against the abyss. It once repaired the rifts of Tavat long ago. It has the ability to purify and stabilize powers that shouldn't exist in Tavat. Forbidden knowledge that its light has shown upon is kept here forever in a different form. Yep, it's just like soap bubbles that rise to the water surface. <sighs> Another strange metaphor, but Paimon somehow gets this I have one. not. What the Lord of Dendro means Yikes. is that the apocalypse was altered by the Why can none of them act right? Spike and hidden within the oozing filth. Yes, and it shouldn't be far from here. Let's go and take a look. Shut up, no way. He's sick, yeah. What is his relation, Chavo, to Vicky? I'm not really sure of their family tree.
which should be the life form from the prophecy. That light! Wait! Something dark is coming out! What's going on? Didn't Nahida say it was pure- Maybe it's because such a long and although the power of the oozing filth is more- It might have lost its mind. Oh no! I should be able to purge it with my elemental power. But this is our only chance. Traveler! It's okay. I trust your judgment. Oh yeah! You said you want to use its power. The Lord of Dendro seems hesitant. It's risky to use its power without... Don't understand! This no good daddy! Yes, I understand. But this is our only chance. It's okay, there's no need to... Hmm, how about this? Traveler, you could try using it. I understand that you have an amazing resistance. Don't overdo it. Dendro, and you others, how long? Yay! Lord of Dendro, here in person. Wait, did you? I'm sorry, that portion of my memory is highly unreal. Hmm, that sounds about right. You once said that the apocalypse will be completely eradicated. Even you couldn't promise that you'd remember. However, you are definitely someone who stays true to your word. You and I made the agreement? Yes. You used your power to protect me. That is the reason why I was able to survive here. To be honest, I'm nearing my end. I had thought I'd be stronger than this. No one can withstand the power of the apocalypse. In order to preserve a somewhat stable memory, I had to change the power of the apocalypse into a different form. Only the giant spike that fell from the sky was capable of doing something like that. But the moment I chose to go through with it is the moment I lost my chance of being rescued by the Lord of Dendro. But enough about me. Lord of Dendro, let's get to the important matter at hand. I understand. Now can you please tell me what this is? This is a fire seed. It's an essential item for saving the Dendro Dragon. Thankfully, it appears to be in good condition. The Lord of Dendro and our people created this item together. It mimics how the Dendro... The Dendro Dragon has been tormented by the Apocalypse for fa However, if you are able to reactivate its heart of a... And as a result, our homeland will... So the heart of a widow? No wonder the crystal was able to heal this fungus just now. What? You used the fire? Mm -hmm. What? That's... Uh, never mind. It, the fire seed contains a high concentration of elemental power inside of it. It is not stable in its current form. To prevent it... Since I am its creator, I will take responsibility. All right. Aside from being able to heal the Dendro Dragon, in other words, You'll be able to find the Dendro Dragon, but you should hurry. What? About Forget about me. You Everyone is returning home. As I told you, I've already lost my chance to be saved, Lord of Dendro. I thank you. Our past has been saved, and our future has been ensured. It's enough for me, just knowing that they will return home. Oh my god. Hey. Can you use the Lumen Stone once more? I please, of all of us, it deserves. This is a small ball of light that it left behind. I can feel it. I can feel its knowledge. Bobby, thank you so much for the raid. It has all returned to its original. How are you doing? Form. Thank you so much it for the raid. How was your stream? 
Please do not be sad, my friends. Because it's external form doesn't matter, right? Chopper's yes. wifey, thank you for the follow. Because our external form does not matter, and our home has been saved. Little Chopper, thank you for the follow. What did you play over there? Mm -mm. Oh, Stan, we love Fortnite. We actually do. Thank you for the follows, everybody. I'm Nam, I'm trans, I do drag. Hello. We're doing some Genshin. If you don't want Genshin spoilers, I suggest leaving now. We're doing the new story quest. Oh. It's not much further. Follow me. We're close now. Okay. Bobby, thank you so much for your prime sub. Two months. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you so much for the raid. I hope it was a good Fortnite day. I can feel its power lingering and shifting around us. Sometimes it feels distant, but other times it seems close. This is its way of warning us. It has already noticed our presence. We won't be able to see anything if we keep going oh. that way. Cutscene. No way, dude. We found it. A pet, the Dendro Dragon. No way. I knew it would be big, but not that big. Um. Puny god, puny human. Leave my domain. Frail life forms like you cannot survive in the end. No, it's not a beatable game. I don't know if you're memeing or not. A pet, we're here to save you. Whose lipstick is on your arm? Probably my ex-boyfriend. You, you are no different from Amon. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heavens glow. You're better off paying attention to your path ahead. As you welcome back, welcome back. I know that you hate both gods and humans, but you've grown too weak now. Can't you? I think so. Hatred, even for only a it moment. It occupies the entire of the Let inner. For only a moment. Spiral thing. Foolish boor, you will find no gratefulness from me, even if you heal me. No, literally, I'm like this thing's scary. You will only be reviving the dragon that will destroy Sumeru and the seven nations. No, you're ill, that's all. That I am. Time will bring death to all. It's unavoidable. Although I am gravely ill, my mind remains clear. Mm. I am different from the ancient dragons that came to terms with you. There's no need for Let this. Let me turn on my one shot. There's no Boop. point in fighting. What we need is the truth. <laughs> The truth. The shackles that the God of Wisdom cannot escape from. I have paid dearly for the truth, and you shall do the same soon enough. Hey! Don't leave! Careful! Something's coming! What do you mean, don't leave is a <gasps> giant... What is that? Hyman's never seen that before! It's our family. Huh? They're your family too? But they don't look anything like fungi. External form not important. Inner nature. The composition of their elemental powers. Is this what they've become after ex- This is also a form of adaptation. Of they've gradually taken this form in order to survive. Is there any way to avoid fighting the- Hey! Can you guys talk? We're here to- 
Oh, they're trying to gag us, doll. They've given it their all just to survive. They're being drawn by the fire seed. All that remains are the instincts to survive and so, so this is the result of her with our world become the same if forbidden knowledge was allowed to rampage across to that like fish struggling on land unable to find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire world yes but please try to be gentle not us about to clock them Busted. When they didn't do anything wrong. Pylon thinks they used up all their strength. They want to go home. Yes, it was never their intention to leave the Dendro Dragon. Is there a way to make them revert to their element? Years of torment is what turned them into the. It seems only the Fire Seed. Or a pep's heart of a but it'll be risky if we use the fire seed again. Correct. We cannot use the fire seed. Everyone goes home. Not just us. Uh, this is because. Uh, let me think for a second. Why don't we just have a pep open his mouth and we it's cleanse fine. him? Let's use the power of the fire seed. I can't bear leaving them in the desert like this. Don't worry. The decision is on me. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. Nahida, we can't do that. Nahida, wait. Stop. Stop. It won't require much elemental power, but as long as I use my elemental power to stable- Thank you. Sorry. Stubborn. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. Returning home is the most important thing to you. I'm not doing this just to protect you. After all, that giant... I will stand with you, Lord of Tendril. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Thank you. All right, here it goes. Family. We will all be able to go home soon. amounts of knowledge and emotions are moving inside of me they're all very excited to imagine such growth could be achieved it's because you're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams yes finally this is the last part let's go Uh. Ha! Huh. I like want to rip my wig off and like just like take everything off. How long have I been streaming? Five hours? I'm surprised I'm even in like full fucking drag. I'm like, oop. The music? I'm scared. controller oh
when I do a reveal into my real hair. You make me feel like a dangerous woman. So, my natural hair looks like shit though Sorry. right now. I have to like just wash it and like let it air dry. I don't know. Like straightened it and it just is not, it's not the tea. Thank you. Honestly, T. What is happening? Like, where are we? This cave is huge. Could this be where the Dendro Dragon lives? Yeah. Who knew? Our goal is not only to find the dragon. That will be impossible if we fight. How are we gonna do? I'll see what I can do. A pep. I know we don't see eye to eye. However. We are both, but we are not that different. Hmm. Wonder if it. I don't care about what you believe in, who you hate, or what you've done in the name of hatred. I'm here to save both you and your people. They've been searching for a way to save you ever since they left their homeland. And now that everything is over. No response. Your eagerness to survive means that you. If you claim to know so much more than I, then why don't you truly think about why you want to survive? And why you're so vengeful? The dot dot dots. Literally DJF. <laughs> Thank God. Please keep everyone safe and send us to the homeland. Paimon dies. Oh my God, we won. Uh, um, Nahida, where are we? I was only able to ensure that we made it here safely. Hmm. Well, that yep, let's go. Hi, my news. Let's hurry. She might be just up ahead. Oh. Hi, everyone. Oh. Well, where are we? What a lovely home you've made. should be the heart of Oasis. All we need to do the damage it suffered internally will- Then let's hurry and light it! Alright, hang on. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Oh! Wait! The fire seed! What happened? It probably broke. It shattered. I knew it, Nahida! It's even more unstable than I expected. Nahida! Why? We barely used it! Oh my... I'm not sure. Perhaps the fire seed was only capable of protecting one person? Well, we told you not to- If it didn't <sighs> use its power on everyone, there's no way of knowing where you could have been sucked into. Nahida, I love you, and but like- that's the case- We Ben knew this was gonna no happen. There's no reason for it to simply shatter, uh, unless- Unless what? <sighs> unless I was already in a weakened state when I created this fire seed. Which would be when we had first saved the desert. Oh no. Girl. Wait, let's put that aside for a moment. If the fire seed has shattered, wouldn't that mean we came all this way for nothing? Yeah. Oh, do you know what we should do now, Nahida? I... Don't worry, Paimon. Although my elemental power is slightly different than that of elemental life, so all I have to do is imitate that power. You're Hi, gonna become the fire seed? Yes. It'll take a lot of power from me. Girl, and wouldn't that mean you have to sacrifice yourself? Hold on. Hold. Cut what the music. If you keep getting smaller, I'll become a blade of grass or a twig. I will be able to unleash power beyond what you lose everything. You'll not only lose your appearance, but you'll lose your emotions, memories, and who knows what else? Hold on. That's Hold. Right. Hold. None of that matters compared to the dangers that a pep is facing right now. S stop. No, wait. There has to be another way. Besides, 
Maybe you and the traveler can plant me in the soil of Sumeru once it is all over. Lita, stop! I can still communicate with the world through the forest. You can't be serious. If the traveler were here, she definitely wouldn't let you go through with it. If we knew this was how you were going to take responsibility... No, Paimon isn't sacrificing herself, it's Nahida. I'm sorry, Paimon, but we're out of options. Not all eagles who have fallen to the ground can soar in the sky once again. No. Stop! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Don't do this. must be made, huh? but not by the Lord of Dendro. <sighs> We've all grown on this long journey. If the purpose of that growth was to return home, then our wishes have come true. Would you lend us your power? would come to this all the knowledge language and emotions that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy in your new homeland nothing of who you were will remain you won't be remembered by anyone is that truly the return you've always dreamed of lord of dendro don't be sad this is not your home. We go home. Oh my god, Lord stop! Should also go home. <sighs> Hear us, please. Feel our heartfelt desires. Awaken! What's that? Thank you for protecting me with your elemental power. Goodbye. We may never meet again. What is happening right now? I'm scared. Hello? I am literally stuck.
Oh wow. What was that? Ah! Ah! What in God's name? The music is bopping. I shake my ass. That's Knowledge, enough, Paimon. Memories and emotions have been reverted to elemental power and released. They are no longer able to respond to you. Well... The guardians that have accompanied me for countless eras have also transformed into my elemental power. Just... They will be born once again now... But Literally, shut the fuck up, Challenge. It will never understand it, and it will never understand us. But as long as you can be healthy again, then nothing else matters to me. Samara will be free from threat. As I thought that my rage would be kindled once my power returned to me. However, what I feel now is a feeling that has long eluded me. The feeling of peace. The forbidden knowledge influenced you ever since you were contaminated, greatly amplifying your hatred and rage. Yes, there's no denying that. Although my hatred for that usurper from beyond the heavens still stirs deep within me. Destroying you and your people serves me no purpose. Be that as it may, my position still stands. And I will have nothing to do with you. When you inevitably perish due to your ever-expanding <sighs> curiosity, I will still sneer and mock you in my heart. Oh, wow. Sheesh! Who can put up with you? I want- I respect your decision, and with time, I will prove to you that we will not repeat our mistakes. Before you begin resting, there is one last thing I would like to know. How did you become affected by forbidden knowledge? It's a long story. We all once believed in the distant past that only forbidden knowledge could give us enough power to defeat the heavenly principles. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness from outside of this world and led us in a fight against the order established by the outsiders. D Dragon King? An unimaginable war took place into that, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. The world itself was on the verge of collapse. In war, the victor would inherit the right to shape the world, while the losers must turn into ash. But I didn't give up on searching for a way to turn the tides, even after the death of the Dragon King. As I attempted to collect more forbidden knowledge from the corners of the world, as it was on the verge of collapse, I was stopped by the giant spike that fell from the sky. Sand dunes arose where there was only forest, and it was as if even Sumerian. I could go for some tell me catch up. Just kidding, I fucking hate catch up, dude. But you still didn't give up, did you? Because of Amun Alahmar. Yes. 
Alakmar eventually obtained this power with the help of Nabu Malikata. His ambitions continued to grow, and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him, I allowed his actions under one condition. The condition was that after his death, all the knowledge he came to accumulate would belong to me. At that time, I still harbor deep regrets. Some of the dragons have grown close to your kind, and have forgotten all about our hatred from when the world was taken from us. And some died, leaving behind nothing but their bones while others chose to flee after experiencing pain and agony. I don't think we're besties with any of the dragons. But for me, the scales and will of the Dragon King still shine bright in my heart, even to this day. I will follow it until the end of my time. You really are insane. When Alakmar's proud kingdom collapsed, I swallowed him whole as I agreed, and absorbed his elemental power. However, what I gained was no benefit. No. I gained the apocalypse. I used up all my strength just trying to keep the pain under control. I had no energy to analyze the Me when I eat the apocalypse. The me the other day when I had that bad McDonald's and it made me almost throw up five times. I still believe that his insanity was far greater than that of my own. So that's how the apocalypse started. I admit that I fell for his trap. Ow! It was like a final failsafe in his plan. Tiny Boomer, and the rest of you, continue forward. How far will the life so... Girl, I don't know. That's a you problem. Hey, looks like we've been sent back out. The dragon will need to rest for a very long time before it's not as ruthless as it was before. Nobody's in a good mood when they're... Even though we accomplished something really important, Paimon still doesn't feel happy for some reason. You're never satisfied, you fucking horrible person. Although they'll still have the chance to be born again, they've lost their memories of their journey and their feelings for their homeland. Each opportunity for growth, perhaps the immense power. Can you really call a place with no family? Those two fun guys. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm done here. Well, yes, because they're right here. I'm sorry. I really am. But it's gone home. Don't be sad. It did it to... It said that Newer is its most important family member. That's your name, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> this is wonderful. They will definitely meet again. Someday. Well, his mother forgot his name, so a bit unfortunate, really. Same. Those were cute story quests. No, literally. Hate to agree with Paimon. Hate to see it, but... 
Those were cute. Those were cute. Those were cute. Sa. Uh. All right. I've honestly had a pretty long day, and I just wanna, you know, get out of face and Good get one. high. All right. Maybe I'll take one more day off and knock out the rest of. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks for hanging. When will I be live next? Nobody knows. Um, everybody, let's remember next time to learn boundaries, social cues, be respectful, and do not make your streamer uncomfortable. Let's remember that and remember it well. Thank you for being here. I will be live again whenever I feel like it, when I feel inspired, when I hopefully can stream with a smile on my face and not be uncomfortable. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging for the Genshin stream. Don't know what we're gonna be playing next. Princess Peach VODs will be uploaded on YouTube. This VOD will be uploaded on YouTube. We move on, we go next. Honkai Star Rail coming and Tears of a Kingdom are coming. But, for now, I'm going to go take an edible, get high, and eat some food. So, good night, everyone! Oh. Goodbye.